Uh, we do have uh, near the northern part of the, the blue border, we have two uh, Patriot sites set up for uh, egress defense. Gotcha. Perfect. Nice. Right. I'm looking at the 41st right. here. I'm not seeing it, though. Oh. Uh, Should post a password. A savage, savage. all lowercase. One uh, single savage. Probably turn my track IR on, right? Yeah, on, you should probably do that. Yeah. Uh, it took me a second to refresh and find it again. You find it yet, Arctic? Yeah, just, just keep refreshing, it'll pop up. So it's 41st SJ something? No, J You should be able to just put... I just put 41 ST. Okay. Yeah. Refreshed and bueno. Then you should have only two options. 141st and 41st. A little beautiful sun up action. So far, you see the training mission 2.11 caucus you, night. You, you, you might have to go all the way back to the menu and then go back into the multiplayer. I did that. that. Whenever it is it the worst case? Time. Big, you can throw the uh, IP in there as well. Yeah, I could do that. I guess uh, I've had that happen with gray flags too, to where I can't. Okay. It uh, Arctic recommend refreshing because I think you entered the multiplayer screen before he even opened up the server, so that's why it's not showing. It's not you have to refresh it. Okay. Oh, I was like, why the fuck can I click shit? It's because the server is paused. Yeah, it's it's still. <laughs> why can't I? Why can't I press shit? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, that's why. <laughs> Don't touch anything. Touch. And where's that refresh button? Oh, right there. Right, top right hand corner. Don't press the big red button. Touch. You have to hold <laughs> alt. The you have to hold I left alt and F4. Switch. <laughs> I just don't have the nuclear consent switch, and I enabled ground jettison. Yeah, that's the. <laughs> yeah, I don't the key to one. fix all DCS problems is left alt and the hold F4. The one time I accidentally dropped a mole of a taxiway. And you say it was savage or savages? Savage. One single savage. One single savage. One ping only. S A V A G E. Okay. Love how every like Russian dude in a in a uh, movie is named Vasily. Vasily? Yeah. You. Why? You. What did you do to my viper? You put. <laughs> I knew you were going to bitch about it. That's why I did it. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're good. I was. What do you do to your uh, I, I was backwards for a second. I thought, I thought you put aim nines on the, on the tips. Oh, no. Come on. <laughs> I was like, what is wrong with you, you monster? Come on. I would, <laughs> that's, that's, I'm too ADD for that. <laughs> oh, that bothers the fuck out of me. All right. Oh, everybody shit. in here yet? All right, we got. Arctic is in here. Oh, in here. Boston's I've got here waiting on blue. <laughs> Green, she's uh, floating for me again. Can we get on pause? As soon as we get him in here, yes. Uh, probably. Oh, fuck. Probably actually connect. <laughs> Oh, good, the weapon's are already loaded, too. Okay. Yeah. Okay. yeah, that's what I was I was like. Oh, my God, thank God, the weapons are already loaded, so I can just delete that line. <laughs> Where is... So I got through there. This is... Right. Blue, you closer now? Uh, yeah, I'm just... Uh, now I'm, I'm in the slot screen. I'm just slotting in. Okay, perfect. Is their server down? Is that what's happening? Am I not able to get all their server? Because... <laughs> Now my SRS isn't connected. That's because the server hasn't been is paused. Uh, no, it's because uh, the your jet's not on. You'll connect to the server as soon as your jet gets like turned on and. Okay. Oh, that, that makes sense. Yeah. Arctic, two bags and a yep. pot, or what? Are, what would you like to fly, sir? Because it's obviously we're flying from one end all the way up with a tanker in the middle. If but if we don't bring do bags, no, nah, I mean we can get up there. Our station time will just be next to non-existent, though. If I'm not yeah, mistaken. Yeah, we'll take two bags. So can we take uh, a jammer yeah. and uh, yeah, yeah. take jammers, targeting pods, and all that stuff too? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. If you, y'all had TGPs, so if you want to take taking a, a, a pod and a jammer. 
Okay. Okay. Uh, are you taking the one three one right. or eighty four? Everybody here. Yep. Uh, Everybody's yep. here. Unpausing. I think I'll take the the long pod. Copy. Likewise, you can just roll a uh, full jam the whole time. If I can find my there's. Request rearming. Okay. Yep. That's all right. He's up now. Unpause. Let's get Request it. Request rearming. Copy. Are you going to start your jet Review first or complete. then start? Uh, I definitely just started it, but... Okay. I mean, it's already... Yeah, I loaded it and then thought about it as it was happening, so... I never said I was going to do the right thing. I may not be a smart man, Gen A, but I do know what love is. I gotta make sure I still have my fucking... Okay. Good. I still have my sparrows bounded. Okay. Good. I, I like never use sparrows in the fucking eighteen, Rearming so I complete. stopped binding the fucking sparrows. And them. And then he's just like, "Yeah, you're gonna use sparrows," and I'm like, "Fuck." Request rearming. <laughs> Copy. I'm screwed. And uh, once once my jet gets powered up, I'll uh, deafen. Yeah, no worries. Uh. When will SRS start to connect? <laughs> oh, uh, by the way, well, as, if you know no, how to connect, you have to manually yeah. set the Yeah, if you ID copy and... copy paste that SoCal through the Inferno into your uh, server, yes, and then hit connect, it will connect. Three three wire, uh, mids frequency. Uh, we'll do uh, six. Uh, on alpha. Copy. Okay. I'm aligning. Everything is very bright in my cockpit. Arctic, you got the yellow MFD to work, correct? Yep. Nice. Isn't it gorgeous? Just it is. makes me I love it every time. Yeah, good check. Cycle through that. Uh, uh, I just switched to one switch. of the other radios. Uh, just select, yeah, radio one or two. Three, zero, five. Radio check. The game is still loading textures for the strike. Range. <laughs> Copy. Copy. That was like the worst radio check I've ever done, to be honest. What, for me or for you? No, for me. I was just. Yeah, uh, you're just like, rich. my whole lingo was just like, absolute, oh, I'm on a radio. Catch <laughs> 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 a bit. Yes, sir. Uh, let's see. Arctic, what's your uh, Tyndall number? Tyndall number? Yes. Uh, you. Uh, he means your STN. Yeah, link, my bad. Oh, STN? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Standby. I read Tyndall. Actually, so. I'm, I'm running yeah. through a DTC, so it, just let me finish that oh, so no I can get access to it. Oh, oh, oh no. They look preset. I'd assume yours is uh, 0257. I am zero two five six. No seven, because I'm number seven. two. Yep. yep. Our waypoints already set. Okay, so let me go ahead and align my hammocks. Infield one, passing waypoint one at two thousand. Um. Oh my god. We have to restart. There's an AI bug in the middle of our fucking runway. Nice. Nice. God, I love that. That's what these tests are for. <sighs> oh, the, the ten times that I tested it, it worked perfectly. So. <laughs> There's 
just a C-17 just... <laughs> in the of the <laughs> I like that one. <laughs> uh, what are the odds? Isn't that wonderful? Ah, uh, fucking love it. All right, hang Beautiful. on. Especially because he's very small and we can... Yeah, we can just go it. around that aircraft, right? Yeah, just go around it. Yeah, no, we just the biggest fucking aircraft in the game. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody else just get a <laughs> connection timeout? Yes. Oh yeah, there was people in the oh, he was in muted. the game. Yeah, yeah, that mm -hmm. makes sense. Uh, there was a C seventeen that decided to park its F F thirty five looking ass on the runway. F thirty five looking ass. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, what a bad AB. Server went down. There was an AI. There was an AI C seventeen parked in the middle of the runway. Yeah. So that wasn't gonna move. No. Yeah, that uh, is no very <laughs> very stubborn. Role playing as a. F thirty five. Jesus. Couldn't couldn't tell much of a leave, difference. Prince, leave the F thirty fives alone. They're just trying to do navy stuff. Yeah. Oh boy, the Marines the have them. Yeah. Yeah. You yeah. know you know how the navy. Is. Sorry, the lowest yeah, budget have, branch has them. My bad. Yeah. Huh. Oh. Literally oh. branches. Oh. Yeah, exactly. There's literally elements oh. of the army that have a higher budget every year than the Marine Corps. Well, that's why they have eight tens. <clears throat> yeah, the SOCOM division, the the outer division that uh, CAG falls under has a higher budget every year than the entirety of the Marine Corps. They won't give the Marines the fucking A-10. Yeah, right, boys. The Air Force is like, this is ours, yeah. goddammit. Well, they took away their tanks and their sniper program, so there's not a whole lot to live for in the Marine Corps, to be honest. But what the fuck? They got rid of their sniper program? Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Like, last, last year. Why the fuck uh, did they do that? Because they keep getting their ass handed to them by army dudes at the International Sniper Comp. Well, Damn. Funding. <laughs> <laughs> Feel bad, man. Uh, it's on pause as soon as you get in. Start it up. Yuppie. Yuppie. That was God, funny. that was a much faster load that time. Holy shit. Yeah. You're ram looking. Oh. Oh, it feels so good. Boston people are ready to fucking switch into ink. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Arctic, I'm gonna throw on the 80th uh, Kutsan livery. I don't know if you have a favorite or anything. I kind of don't. Oh, uh, I usually pick the uh, Arctic Aggressor one that's got oh. the stripes. Great. Yeah, let's get it. I am down for and, it. And uh, my weapons are just loading up, so I'm gonna just jump. Over to the my, where my coffee machine is. Grab a coffee. Be right back. Yeah, no worries. I could go for a coffee or a beer. I got a Red Bull. I'm good. Yeah, I I got a free GNC fucking gummy worm uh, energy drink. So I'm kind of curious seven about hours that of one. Sleep. Grinch, you primarily fly the 15, good. right? Say again. I said you primarily fly the 16, right? Uh, 16 and Apache. Copy. I might have to have you uh, teach me some F-16 stuff. Arctic is honestly the one that will fucking learn you everything. It's ridiculous. Okay. I fly the... Honestly, I fly, I've flown the Apache a lot more in the last six months than the Viper. And the Viper oh, is man, easy I'll to just hop with... into, but yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll get with uh, Arctic to learn me some stuff. Yeah, if you want to learn some just absolutely ridiculous shit, Arctic, mainly just Arctic flies like, this like, thing in and out every day, so he... Go to ground stuff. Oh, Mavericks. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh. He, so he taught me oh, how to use Mavericks. Mean... It's easy enough. I can do it, and I'm, I'm on the spectrum pretty heavily. <laughs> Same. <laughs> and so... I have a yeah. question. Why is yes. there so much fucking C Rams? <laughs> what the fuck? The C Rams are awesome. <laughs> yeah, but like, what the fuck? <laughs> There's a. <laughs> I 
Owl. Uh, same com, right? Hey, firm. Copy. Infield one, airborne. Three zero five, radio check. <clears throat> Three zero five, this is Grinch. Here you at Lima Charlie. How copy over? Mid channel check. I got you back, Lima Charlie, on 305. Copy. Why do I not see anyone on data link? Oh yeah, it's a bug by the way. It's a data link bug. Yeah, I know I gotta cycle through it, but I still can't see anything. Just odd. Uh, it still sometimes bugs out. Sounds about right. I'll see if uh, Arctic's having any better luck when he comes back. Yeah, uh, who was asking about the F-16? It's probably T-Bird. Okay, Grinch, back on. Yes, sir. Is your uh, data link working? No, I haven't started engines yet. Oh, okay, gotcha. I'm sitting with no bags currently, so I just got everything up and going, but my data link, for some reason, is not popping up even after cycling through it. So, oh, Crap, yeah, my weapons didn't come up the way they should have. Uh, what's up with the weapons? I'll trade you your weapons for my data link as I work. <laughs> One of us has a fully functional aircraft. <laughs> okay, let me think what to do about this. Oh, I'll get started first. So that's on, that's on. Engine start brakes on. And we will put the lights on. Set these. Standby attitude indicator. I'm questioning what the fuck my UFC is not working on the strike table. It's weird. Two six six. Two six. Hey, look at that. It's already 254. Pony Yankee. Crap, my engine didn't start properly. No worries. Can I just uh, respawn? Yeah. Yeah, go for it. Okay. Yeah, we're not we're not that tight of a ship. So I'll go select roll. I'll go back to where I was and then revert. Oh, that's why I'm not Draw getting any tech in. There's no tankers in the air yet. Okay, I'm back in. I got the proper weapons now, so that's good. Okay, sweet. Uh, power on. Let me know how your uh, data link's going. When you get to it there, obviously it takes, takes a second. Okay.
Yeah, because there's no friendly vipers in the sky right now. They should be able to grab them on data link. Something at least. Uh, also, guys, remember to change your laser coils for no conf uh, confliction between other jets. Joke's on you. We don't have any laser ordinance. Ah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> My laser will stay off unless it's needed, and then I will actually want. You, you better make sure not that laser arm is never on. <laughs> yeah. Well, unless I'm lasing for you. Oh yeah. Then that you actually that's a. I just good leave idea. it the same, right. and then uh, if I have to laser on you. Clear. Yeah. It should be yeah. a bueno. Uh, hey, for us, I'll try to go to the right and hold short runway 27. Copy. Honestly, as long as one of us has data link, we should be good. Okay, got a good start powering up my avionics. Gotcha. Request rearming. Copy. I know Move some down. data link stuff says it'll fix itself when you take off as well and cycle through. It's just. Such a hit or miss. Yeah, there, there is a well-known bug that hit since the last update. Yeah. You, did you fix that? You basically turned your data link on and off. To fix yeah, it. yeah, yeah. I've been doing that. Okay. And if I'm not mistaken, that's just the list. Enter uh, on the GPS time. Press 1 to turn it off. Sync in progress. And then right. uh, sync 1. Or 1 again will go sync course fine. And then you're good. But honestly, it just keeps on saying sync in progress. Yeah, I never... Wait. Turns itself back to proper. So we'll see. Okay, I'm running my TTC, so the uh, data link should be turned on here very shortly. Copy. Me, me, Got to fix my artificial high limit. This. Oh, that's. Up, up, up. They make all oh, the. I am experiencing the worst frames I've experienced in a decent while. Grab my targeting pod. Zap, don't need a head, got a pod. Okay. Request rearming. I am rearming. Copy. Okay, my data link's on. Yep. Is it functioning properly? Synchronize on and off. I don't see anything out for 240 miles as an yeah, obvious yeah. data link. That's me too. <clears throat> I think uh, Viper data link's just down. This might have been created during a time that it just wasn't working or something, something funky. Okay. I switched my data link identification to SV112. So if if I lock somebody up, you should see me as SV11 as the as the. Uh, yeah, it should get here. And my station number is zero zero two five seven. Uh two five seven? Yep. Okay, mine's two five six. I'm gonna change that to match yours though. Rearm. Oh, shit. Okay. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Give me a sec. I need to change comms because. Because it ought to. Oh, it's so dumb. I don't want to keep doing dumb shit. Quest rearming. Interesting. Hmm. 
I'm not able to put a T next to your. Uh, oh no! Yeah, your STN. Let me take a look. Because that should just be obviously select the little emblem next or the little blank spot next to it and press one, if I'm not mistaken. You, according to this, you've already got a T on yours and mine. <laughs> The T should oh, be the, to I just the got, right I, of the number. I just re-put yours, and it's good to go now. Okay, so you should be, would you say 256 and I'm 257? Yes. Okay, good. Yeah, we should be good. Let me actually go ahead and get uh, the right channel for us. Com2. One three five. Grinch on one three five radio check over. Okay. Arctic, I'm good to taxi whenever you are. Okay, I'm just getting to make sure all my things are off, so I'm fenced off or fenced out, so nothing happens. Gotcha. That looks good. Over here to throw your uh, Alaskan skin as well. Yeah, I'm. It's on according to my view. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it might not be if it's not stored in the in the uh, server. It might not yeah. be available. Oh, I got it. So it the same way it's showing up for mine, but not for you. Got it. Yeah, that's fine. I see. I see. I see too. I'm looking at you, Grinch. It looks good, but on yours, it's not Arctic. Huh. That's weird. So yeah, I'm all set. Just you'll have to talk to us. I'm not. Uh, don't normally do these exercises at the time. So uh, not worse. You in the SRS? Okay, so two six six is our flight, and then one three five is tech. Um, you know I'm a Viper pilot because I always put an FM and an AM. <laughs> I always hate it when there's just a bunch of fucking AMs. Oh, so is that on the page? Yes. Yes. Two six six. Okay. Um, yeah, when we get there, I can tell you how to save those so they can just be a button push, yep. like combo oh, I button one. Already got you, brother. Oh, you got that done? Yeah, Good. yeah, I do all that. I got everything kind of hot barred in. Okay, so yeah, well, two buttons. You just press the com one, then whatever number it is, exactly. and enter. Yeah, yeah, I got so all those. I've forgotten two six six, and the other one was one. Uh, was one tack one three five. One three five for tech. Yeah, a lot of people like to put like two five five or some just weird shit as tack, and I'm like, no, 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 I'm in a viper. Give me a tack and in a in a fucking one three range three a one range, so I can actually have two of them. Are we all in the same bullseye? Uh, yes. Okay. Okay. What should we do? Should we cut off the thing here or mute it and just go SRS? Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, Arctic, as long as you... Right now it's not showing you're in 126. Arctic, Grinch, radio check. Arctic, you might still be on the uh, gray flag one as well. You might be on the okay. gray flag uh, SRS. I don't, I don't see you on 266. Oh, so I'm... Okay. <laughs> yeah, that would make sense. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, I did throw that the the proper channel into the uh, the pre-flight to the pre-flight. Okay, pre-flight. Uh, SRS SoCal. Yes, sir. Okay, copy that and put it. I was like, hmm. I still don't see it on two six six. Copy 
that. SoCal. Is it so big I can't cut and paste it? Should be able to cut and paste. Okay, so in Inferno, and then I need the dot com part. Two five one, geez. Oh, I see what's going on. What's up? That that uh, so-called thing is so long it doesn't fit into the uh, window for me to insert it into SRS. Oh, it should. It kind of it drops it down. It's really interesting. <laughs> Should I mean obviously it's in there for me and everyone else. I think it just kind of drops it down. Yeah, it like makes itself a little drop down. Are you able to just copy paste SoCal through the Inferno dot com colon and then just manual I I, manually put I think I got the fifty one two? Yep. Okay. Arctic Grand Trade check. Leave it, Charlie. Okay, let's push forward in taxi. Two. Ah, uh, what's the fuck? Venom flight taxiing time now over. Arctic, you still have no data link, correct? Correct, I'm cycling now that we're moving. Copy, I'm going to see after takeoff, it seems like that's something uh, people say oh, may or may not work. Venom, copy. Flat copy. I say again, Venom flight copy. It's going to be fun if we don't have a uh, data link and uh, no AWACS. Yeah, if we don't have AWACS, data link wouldn't matter except for wingmen. And the F-18 should be transmitting as well. Alright, all flights be advised. Once we get airborne and pass blue line and get into green line, I want all formation tight. Uh, it could be a hot um, info, so keep it close, keep together, keep an eye on your fuel, and uh, guys if you guys need RTD for any reason, let me know and do so. Stand flight copy. Venom flight copy. Whiplash
just drunk driving up here, just not paying attention, my bad. That's okay, I noticed uh, we definitely have heat blur on the server. Watch you have about to wait from uh, wings first, down, down to wings first, so we can just in the tanks if we have to. <clears throat> Say again? I've got my fuel selector so it pulls from wings first. I mean, wing tank first. I just thought it automatically did uh, wing tanks first. That's only if you have a center tank. It'll, it'll pull from the center first unless you put it down to wings first. Gotcha. Yeah, I guess I never played with that. Uh, well, we're, yeah, that makes sense. If we're only running wing tanks, it'll pull from those. Check in in the order in which you're lined up on. Let me know if you got green jet. Venom flight is last in the stack and is ready. Over. That's clear. Ready to take an active. <clears throat> and obviously, I know I've flown with you enough. We're afterburner detent the whole time, unless we absolutely have to. Uh, you want to try to stop and get gas on the way up, or see if we can go for it. Did they say the tanker had to bail? Oh yeah, you're right. We're going. Now you say after burner detent, what do you mean? <clears throat> uh, I guess, my bad, uh, mill power, but I, I already know you do that, which is wonderful. One of the few other Viper pilots that doesn't complain about the uh, fuel burn on the Viper. Stereo flight taking the active. Are you set up? Are you going direct waypoint one? Copy. Setting up my uh, ripple of two 500 feet uh, drop interval. Rush, I'll do that. A staggered pair or just a pair? <clears throat> uh, say again? Negative, my mistake. One drop, uh, 500 feet, single drop. Uh, give me two runs, over. Steering flight, wheels up. Dropping two on the first pass, then two on the second pass. Uh, and you're dropping two at a time, but they're spaced 500 feet apart on each drop, correct? Yes, yes, my mistake. Loaded in. 
I am always a little fucky with CCRP, so I will most likely find the target with CCRP, get distance, then dive in with CCIP. Sounds good. I don't normally do manual weapons, uh, just because I have precision, so uh, this would be good practice. Likewise. I'll fuck with uh, some 97s every now and again, but in CCIP. Eagles are airborne. Venom flight taking active. Request flight wheels up clear to active. Good hunting. A line up right side. I uh, don't know yet, to be honest. Oh, with your permission, I'll give you a five second uh, interval before I roll. Yes, that, uh, that'd be wise. Take ten if you need. <clears throat> Two screen. Copy. Loading. Release. Venom 1 wheels up. Two wheels up, and there's Wake Turkles. Happy hunting, gents. Copy. Same to all. I'm going to cycle through the data link now that we're wheels up and see if that does anything to fix it. Same, nothing but radar contacts. Okay, I see now. Uh, way, steer point one is ingress, which is to the south east of uh, steer point two, which is target area. So we do want to go towards steer point one? Yes, yes, that's my mistake. Okay, and I'm currently 248.5 miles uh, away from that one, steer point one, so we'll see about the same. Copy, I'm 247. Sorry, I'm cheating a little. We could probably throw a, uh, since we don't have um, the uh, data link uh, steering friend queue for wingman, we could, I could give you a TACAN channel. Or is there a TACAN we need to zoom in on? 
Yeah, that would work. Okay, if you want to put 37 Yankee on, I'll put uh, 100 Yankee. Copy, I'm on 37 Yankee. Transmit, receive, air to air. There we go. I've got uh, 0.5 miles behind you. Copy. 0.5. Uh, I do as well. Okay, I'm coming up. Do you want me on your right or left? Uh, whichever you feel most comfortable with. I'll go your left side. Copy. Kind of leveling off. Uh, I was a little bit higher altitude or AOA than I would like for a bit. Level into about a two, two and a half uh, degree climb at 16,000. <clears throat> yeah, my bad. Sorry for everyone. Uh, obviously, it's coming back to this. This is a mission big created in the uh, 1991 time era. Obviously, 91 is pretty. Uh, Pacific at that point, but so it is. We're flying into Iraq, wingman there, Arctic. Man knows shit ton about F-16s uh, in the game, at least and how they function. So we're getting through that. We're trying to keep our speed just right up here uh, above 300 knots. That helps a lot with everything else. Our fuel flow is right here. Obviously, we drop it down a bit, but we are heavy. We are very draggy, as you can see. This. Is seeing a lot of air currently, a lot of air, and so takes takes a bit uh, to get that pretty centered. So what's happening is obviously the RWR. I can see there's an F-16 Patriot sights. So we're gonna go in. We're gonna bomb target, and I can't drag it over here. We're gonna bomb this airfield. Uh, we're going to hit these runways first, and then go from there. All we got right now is some dumb bombs. So what that entails is we're going to have to manually put these in. They don't have any guidance systems. Um, obviously, the aircraft is still going to have a computer system. That will give us proper places to... Uh, Proper pin drop. Lead them loosely based uh, to your uh, saddle, uh, the loose saddle on your left. Copy visual. Um, sorry, forgot where I was. Oh yeah, so like this, this is in control release point, but changes to CCIP. This is gonna be a lollipop. That means the bombs gonna land right there. Yeah, about three hundred knots as well. <clears throat> Copy, I'm 300 on the dot. Now that we're airborne, you do have the Alaska colors, if that's what you intended. Say so you're your last over. Your paint scheme, you look like you have the, um, what, that, what is that, like the broken glass Alaska aggressor colors? The, uh, there's a name for it, I can't remember. Yes, one of the, the Arctic Splinter, I think it is. Splinter, that's what it is. All flight 
be advised, I've got nails on 12 o'clock, bearing 3, 4, 5, unknown mileage. <coughs> Two snake it on that. Copy. Venom, copy. Venom flight, copy, we're approximately 20 miles behind Whiplash, flight is all, should be good spacing, over. Stay flight, I want you engaging hostiles only if you have to, I want you to uh, do your best to stay out of combat until you get those arms off. Venom uh, flight, you're secondary with me. Say again, end of transmission, over. Alright, all five speed I've got now uh, two MiG-29 uh, spikes off of our 11 o'clock, 340, unknown mileage. Two MiG-29s, 11 o'clock, unknown mileage, good copy, over. Copy. Uh, I'm sorry, you talking to me or the uh, group over? Oh, just to you. I won't talk to the group unless uh, you clear me to do that. So I just I got our friendlies ahead of us, but no uh, enemy aircraft, anything uh, long range up there. That is the flesh is in trail 7 miles, angels 28. Gotcha. Likewise, yeah, I don't have anything uh, Anything else. I just wish you were VSR to see if I can find anything. Copy. But... Blue elements are passing space on blue. Nothing but friendly, apparently. Copy. All uh, lead elements are passing to phase line blue. They're all elements are passing phase line blue. Lights off, fence in. Lights off, fence in. Whip rush, copy. <clears throat> passing phase line blue. Over. Two fenced in. Stinger flight, copy. Phase line blue. Yeah, we're a pretty good solid chunk behind everyone, so if we end up shooting shit right now, uh, something's gone horribly wrong. Reaper, finger, two, I got a ping, 335, 84 mile,
pair of Patriots off, 9 o'clock. No threat. Copy. Should be friendly Patriots. You have the map up by chance on your other monitor you're able to look at? Uh, map of the airfield, my bad. Zoomed in on the airport. Aren't you looking at it? <clears throat> Our main focus is the two northernmost black uh, rectangles. I will scan the westernmost if you can take the easternmost. That is correct. Eastern rectangle and western rectangle. Stay with that. You're good to re uh, engage to my friends behind me on my six. Understood. Which one's mine? Copy. Turn it back in. Easternmost uh, will be yours. Okay, right side. Understood. Correct. We should be good to one, uh, do one run, assess BDA, and engage as needed. I say again, re-engage as they did. Or direction. Okay, and for some reason I've lost, uh, looks like you're speeding away from me a little bit. I'm 294 knots, full dry thrust, 26,300 in gentle climb. I'm 296, 26,000. <clears throat> Stair point two's altitude is grossly off. Recommend changing altitude to fifteen hundred feet. Got any, any contacts on radar? Lead your 
Hold on a second. Altitude of steer point two is off. Rick, recommend changing to fifteen hundred feet. So steer point two will be fifteen hundred feet. Correct. It's currently like five thousand. Whiplash, uh, right. is your scope clean? Yeah, whiplash is clean. Uh, disregard. Uh, contact Angels thirty six. Stand by. No worries, I got visual on you. I've been, uh, I check, check back and forth, so. See ya. Thank you. See ya. <clears throat> Currently, 300 knots. Angel's 27. Still currently only friendlies on radar. Two same. Stinger has them at 30 for the past. Cooper, Fox 4, oh, I'm sorry, Fox 3, times 1. Copy, I got one on radar, Angel's 15. Tomcat is engaging the hostile at Angel 17. Are 
Uh, kind of a clusterfuck in front of us. Copy. Uh, likewise. Do you want to drop the tanks when they're empty? Or keep them in case we can refuel on the way back? I'm dropping them. I don't believe we're getting a uh, tanker, unfortunately. Whiplash status on a Reaper and that MiG 21 over. Uh, Reaper is down. The I don't have hey, hostile, reaction. MiG 21 off our nose, 8 miles, Fox 3. Fox 3, MiG 21. Flash, make 21. Yeah, be advised that Bandit is behind us now. Splash, make 21. <coughs> Sorry about that, Eric. <laughs> Did you launch a missile on purpose? Yes, yes, just shot down to make 21. I clicked the SRS and didn't actually hit the uh, you know change change channel button by accident. I'd get any nails of any kind, so glad you got them. SA2 spike 10 o'clock correction nails. Say again, your last. I didn't get any indication of that big, so I'm glad you got them because I wouldn't have seen them. Copy. Yeah. Reaper, our F-14, is down, unfortunately. And maybe you just burned a bunch of fuel and lost a missile, but I'm having trouble keeping up with you now. Copy. I'll back my fuel flow off a little bit. Yeah, I'm cruising 54 currently. To uh, 0 0.9 miles behind. I'll uh, wait for that to get up a little bit. Roger, same. And all I've got is uh, two friendlies, 12 o'clock, 31,000 feet in trail. <clears throat> Copy. That's all I see as well. Stinger flight, this is Venom flight, radio check, over. I uh, got you, Lima Charlie, break, be advised, we are 60 miles from the target point. Copy, I was about to ask for a status report, and I got it, thank you, happy hunting. Uh, correct. I'm at 8.3 currently. Two 
two eight five knots. Angels twenty seven point nine. I'll copy. Loud and clear. Two nine zero knots. Twenty seven thousand three hundred thirty. Gentle climb. And visual two o'clock. Copy. I believe I got our other friendlies off of our nose. Correction, 11 o'clock at Angels 23, approximately 60 miles in front, and then the two at Angels 30 in front of us. Roger, same. The ones at uh, 11 o'clock are intermittent, 23-24. Copy. Sam sight, ping 11 o'clock. Stinger lead to Venom lead. Yeah, switched over to break. My mistake, I missed that. Thank you. And my fuel state is 8.0 currently. Sticker flight 2, all flights be advised, turning hot. Target point. Copy. Venom, copy. Yeah, I'm getting the SA-2 on RWR now. Roger, two naked. There's a two and a search disc as well. Turn the music on. Like this, I can see my wingman is 0.2 miles away from me, <clears throat> and that means he's either it's probably directly below me, and I just can't see it. Whiplash passing egress, starting call for primary. But like that, I know he's directly behind me because I can see him. Yep, bingo. But I can see my RWR exactly where he's coming from. Yes. I just tried to turn mine on and realized I guess I didn't load because I don't have one, so all I've got is my HTS button. Oh no. Finger two, back up. Yeah, it looks like you are 100% dropping CCIP then. Second Sam launch. 
Music is on mode three. Time now over. Star, Whiplash, Venom. Venom flight passing ingress waypoint one ahead in target area time now. Okay, I'm gonna come left. Okay, I have eyes on target area. Okay, I'm seeing targets in a line on the easternmost target area, but nothing on the westernmost target area. And the there is a southern target area that has helicopters on it, and there is indeed helicopters on that. I will go ahead and engage that target area. Break. So two will continue for the uh, eastern uh, line. Yeah. Uh, yes, uh, I'm going to actually go in with you. I'm not going to release, but I'll help guide you in uh, so you're not just dropping in blind. Okay, I've got uh, visual. I just can't look at it other than I have to send the Angels 24. Uh, yes, uh, we'll just stick, we'll stick it tight, um, give you a good drop in, and then I will proceed to the western one after our dive has begun. And hopefully you can find targets within that dive, if that makes sense. Over. Yep. What's the runway uh, orientation? 
orientation. I can't read it from the picture. Say again, your last. Just wonder what the runway is. Is it runway 30? If we come in on this heading of about 300, will that take us down the runway? Yes, it would be, well, correction, it would be 29 right is the one we're following down. It'll be on the right side. Okay, so we're pretty much lined up for it. We just got to descend. Yes, yes, sir. Copy. Would you like to push to the right before I drop these tanks? Yes, I would. Uh, going right now. Let me know when clear. Uh, not for me, negative. Plan to stay high, drop them at about 10,000 feet over. Okay, I'm off to your right hand side, uh, line abreast, and I'm ready to descend uh, as soon as you say so. So lots of separation, I've got everything visual ahead of me. You said you have visual, over? On the runway, affirmative. Copy. to do about 10 miles. Miles descending. Pickle times two. Climbing back up to 20,000 feet.
Current egress is 306, 18,000 feet, 300 knots. Copy, I'll slow the pot around, look for BDA, and see what we need to hit. Looks like I did a pretty good sweep on the uh, easternmost line. Copy, that is priority target. Here's a lot of the MIGs are still uh, doing a little little well down there. Copy, I'm 20,000 on second approach, ICU. Copy, one's hot. Pickle two times GPU twelve. Pickle. Pickle times two. One's Winchester. Going to egress to the west, then south. Roger. Steer point three is at the egress. Copy. Good effects on target on that run as well. Okay, I'm seven miles behind you. Going for steer point three. Copy, that is steer point three as well. Currently Angels 15, 3, 7, 5 knots. Okay, got you off to my right. I'm off to your left and uh, 8 miles. 
Copy, visual. Okay, I took a few hits from AAA, but uh, don't seem to have any obvious damage. Radios are working, fuel seems okay. Likewise, unknown if any damage is, but everything seems to be a-okay. Venom flight is egressing to steer point three time now. Stinger to whip last one. Definitely screwed up a little bit, but learned. I think 8 miles is a little better for a CCRP drop. Oh, you did a CCRP. I went CCIP. I meant CCRP. That's my mistake. I think I dropped a little too flat on my first two, and they, uh, they went long because I wasn't at 45 degrees. Same. Fuel 5.6. Perfect. Throttle's wide open, leveling off at 30,000 feet. Venom flight safe roosting. Copy. I'm currently Angels 26. Okay, moving up to Angels 3-0 to 5 degrees. Reporting in for the flight, we are 5.3. Think you might have knocked your uh, calm, your uh, Victor flight off. Uh, Thank you, Pastor, for your updates. Uh, both are 7.5. <clears throat> Two, say again. Oh, yeah, that's my mistake. I'm at 30,000 and 317 knots and climbing. Yeah, I believe I'm off of you about 4 o'clock. Okay, yeah, I see on the map. Got, got your visual just off my right wing, and uh, I did track down my battle damage. I've got a bite out of my uh, right hand tail stabilator at the tip. Oh, that's fun. Yes.
The altitude is angels three is zero, speed is three six five knots. Egress route is clear, switching to steer point four slash home flight. Late. Okay, pushing steer point four. Estimated fuel state on arrival is 2100. Confirm fourth year arrival. Confirm steer point four is uh, our recovery. Yes, Alameda Hot Airfield. Roger. Uh, I'm showing 2275 pounds. Copy. Say again. Uh, Blue's offering a BDA if we want it. <clears throat> Whiplash, say again, your last over. Did that come in broken for you? A little bit, but better. Whiplash uh, Venom 2. You can take that uh, BDA if you can. I don't know what it is. For some reason, big as well just comes through just garbled. I don't know why. Say again, over. Slowing to 330 knots so you can catch up. Copy. And uh, the call for the entire streak was to RTB, so I acknowledged it. Gotcha, gotcha. I'm trying to figure out what's going on. Like I said, for some reason, big is just. just comes in really raspy. You come in fucking great. And other people do it too, but for some reason, big and like right there, blue, just it's almost like unreadable. Not that unclear for me. Maybe take an external look at your uh, jet, see if maybe your antennas got shot off or something. Everything is looking good. Have you maybe bumped your switch uh, on your right hand side above the uh, INS? There's an anti-ice and an antenna select, and they should both be on normal. Where's that at? On the INS on your right-hand side, if you look above it, there's an anti-ice, an engine anti-ice switch on the left, and two switches for antenna select. And you want the upper and lower to both be on normal.
You said on the right side, right? Yeah, so look back from the stick. Uh, okay, I see the anti-ice. Your arm rest, and behind that there's your INS, so your um, avionics power, the f seven switches plus the uh, rotary selectors. And just above that outboard is the engine anti-ice switch, and to the right of that is the antenna selector for the IFF and the radios. Okay, I see those. Those should be on norm, correct? Correct. <coughs> oh, they look good. Okay, I'm uh, 3.2 nautical ahead of you, speed 3 Go ahead and disconnect from the SRS real quick. I'll be right back. And that, and that should, should be, good. be good. Maybe. Maybe. How's this? How's this? That's, That's just, just fine. fine. Uh, T-Bird? That's bueno. That's bueno. Maybe? Maybe. Uh... Speaker. Speaker. How's this? How's this? How's this? How's this? Helmet, maybe? <clears throat> Sounds like we lost another bird. Yeah, same with Blue right there. It just It's not like he's... He's sort of quiet, but it's just there's static in the background. It's like his stat, even with Big Red there, it's like his static is... His static is louder than his voice. I don't know why. They're flying F-15s, right? Yes. The F-15s and the F-18s can go to three channel spacing uh, past the decimal point. So if they're 0.5 or 0 off from our frequency, so we're on that one, we're on two, yeah, we're on 13500, so if they're on 135005, maybe that's what it is. Got it, yeah, Big isn't a, I, Big wasn't a Tomcat at the beginning, it sounded good, I don't know what he, what he wrangled into now though, but Blue is in the 15E. Fencing in time now. Do you mean fencing out? Yes. What's your speed? Okay, two is fenced out. Uh, lights are on and currently three, three, five. Copy three, three, five. Must be close, point two. 
Yes, Mafia, four o'clock. Oh yeah, look at that. Good chunk is missing. Roger, if you want to take the lead, I'll uh, pop behind you, just give you a look over, see if you got any damage. Copy. Fuel flow, five, five, zero, zero. Speed three four three. Roger, I'm uh, <laughs> picking up to five eight zero here just to quickly catch you. And you've got the lead on behind. Copy. Hundred and seventy three miles out, eighteen minute flight time. Uh, I heard Big try to talk, if you can respond to that. Yeah, he's looking for our state. What have you got? 4.1. We'll be arriving with 2.3. Correct. All parts to be uh, advised on your uh, landing approach. Uh, come in for landing on the way to the center. Stinger. Stinger, I'm going to the state. Okay, the same to land runway 27. 1, 6, 0, 2 is up to the top. Landing runway 27. Two seven, which is east to west. Okay, if you want to hold your course, I'll get up nice and close to you here and take a good look over you. Got the holding course, altitude, speed three five eight. That is still a hilarious call, though, from, uh, you know, a non-Viper. After a mission, you're like, hey, what's your fuel state? You're like, 12. Okay, you look clean on the bottom. Copy. and uh, put the uh, autopilot on to altitude hold. Copy, my altitude hold is on at 30600 feet. And since I never use this, uh, verify bulls is 260 for 048 miles, correct? Uh, say that again, that sounded interesting. Sorry, it's something I don't do a whole lot is use bullseye, but the bullseye comes up as the distance inside the circle and then direction uh, underneath. So it would be bulls is 47 miles for 256 degrees, if I'm correct, over. That's correct. 
Gotcha, thank you. Yes, perfect uh, bullseye check. Alpha check. I'll be curious in the recording to uh, kind of clip some of the, the audio and see what ends up happening. Uh, see if it comes across as weird or if it's just, just something that's going on with me right now. Because you come across with no additional like background audio, uh, kind of buggy, versus most of the other guys are coming through just massive radio scratch, and then their light voice. And they sound different. Like on a different day, they sound normal, but today it's scratching. Yeah, normally, normally everyone sounds fine. Maybe. Venom flight is one, two, three miles out and 13 minute flight time over. Yeah, this is what we're trying to do more of. You missed the, well, you sort of missed the last mission that I did uh, for the first one. Uh, but we do, we try to do a lot more stuff like this, and I'm starting to create missions, bigs, bigs pirated missions from places. So a lot more of this is going to try to happen, especially earlier on the weekends for our European pilots. But should be able to hit, uh, hit a lot of these up uh, more frequently is what we're trying to do. Uh, say again? You should try to do a, a map where uh, you have to refuel once or twice just to make it. Like, if you don't refuel, we, we kind of cheated because we took tanks, but we can still make it even though the tanker was gone. Yeah, I 100% plan to get the South Atlantic map at some point and run missions on that. Right now I'm making missions just kind of in little uh, little pieces, uh, just get the basics down, add a couple new aspects to it each time, and then go from there, then uh, hopefully after a couple of them, or like the first kind of mission set that I make, should be able to have full-blown missions with a lot of ticks and fucking activations and units and everything like that, so that's the goal. Yeah, no worries. I don't think Big's on a dedicated server. I think he's just hosting it directly through DCS, so that is probably wise. Dagger. Venom. Venom flight under 10 minutes time now. So where's blue from? 
Saudi Arabia, I believe. When I first heard of my quick tell if he was a 10 year old kid or like a, an adult with uh, sort of like a Malaysian accent or something. What did he say about Saudi Arabia? <laughs> Wrong channel. Saudi Arabia. Uh, I believe he is also fairly young. It's actually nice. I've never played with that on the SRS little page. You can change your your name in game. It should show should pop up as Venom One for me. Uh, currently, it's popping up as uh, Grinch in your Savage number. Let me try something real quick. How about now? Uh, Forty for Savage so far. If we're talking about the thing on the left hand side of the screen when you transmit. No, that's definitely what it uh it says you could change that your EAM name, which showed up as the forty first Savage, but apparently that doesn't actually change anything. Oh, in that case it does show up. It shows EAM is for the AWAX guys who've got um what's that thing called? Uh load ATC or LOD ATC. Oh, got it. If you want to, I can slow it down if you want to. You should catch up with us and uh, take pictures with us. I also love how you and me, a handful of us still haven't changed our in-game names yet <laughs> to, to, to match everyone else. <laughs> That's right, 111. That's what the last list said. Yeah, I kind of, there's a little bit, everyone's kind of going back and forth. Uh, we're trying to figure out what's, what it makes sense to make it small, but also noticeable, just so people can have a little bit more, uh, you know, nameage. Be right back. <laughs> this is pretty cool. We're, I'm at 5.4 fuel flow, Mach 9.4, almost 9.5, and we're just sailing along like it's nothing. It's not carpal tunnel, which is good. But it's not like permanent air damage yet. I am back. If you've still got this, or, or sorry, if you've still got Discord on, uh, I can hear Blue smacking his lips. He's soaking on a popsicle or something. Damn, I missed it. You know the best part? Oh, I hear it. My my uh, my stream picked it up though.
Going to bring her right slightly, a little off course. Roger. You got a good popsicle there, Blue? Yep. Rewarding myself. I'm taking way too much screenshots. <laughs> look at look at the chat feed. Yeah, I noticed that. Say again. Oh, he's just bragging about all the screenshots he's taking. That's all I've noticed in that chat screen is him going snap, snap, snap. Go on. Jeez, dog. Go. <clears throat> Sorry, I had a dog rip the headset off my head. Sorry, I'm recovering. Go, go, dog! I got a dog in here that ripped my headset and like some of the cords out of my headset. So, <laughs> okay, I'm back. Twenty miles out. Just gonna step it down. Ah, who the fuck? <clears throat> this is Venom Flight. How's the airfield looking for landing over? You want to land first, and I can uh, land after you in case of uh, something goes up with your battle damage. Roger, that's a good idea. So I probably shouldn't do an overhead break and put any Gs on. So I'll just uh, go onto a right base to final from my present position. Copy. I'll follow and then just stay over the top and come around for another landing. Okay. Is there a frequency for tower that we should be on or anything? Negative. Just uh, switch over to 135. We can talk to him there. Gotcha. Venom flight uh, approach and landing at El Manad. Uh, Venom 2 is taking the lead, joining a right base for full stop. Sorry, I'm cheating a little, but I see him now. Altitude. Altitude. Duke, you're coming down. Boards are out. No warning lights. Turn 
three final runway two seven full stop gear down. Final. One on final, ten second delay. That was awesome, thank you. One wheels down. I'm at traffic. Venom two exiting runway two seven midfield south side on Bravo. Clear the runway. I'm good. It's a little. Thank you, though. Wherever you would like, sir. Uh, why don't we go over the A-10s are on the right-hand side there and give us enough room for everybody to line up. Copy. I could probably turn my jammer off now. Definitely. I wonder if you're jamming yourself with your radios. Probably not, though. Uh, <laughs> oh. Well, Oh shit. Uh, this is not good. My game broke. What the fuck, big guy? <laughs> Fuel state 2.400. Um. That's not good. <laughs> I can still see shit, but this is definitely not 
smelled good. They just froze and popped. Arctic, you still here? Affirmative. Okay, I'll be switching over to. Now nah, there's enough. There's enough in there. I'll wait. Disregard. Increasing the scent rate to ten degrees. Slows down. Oh my god. Ah, that was a good flat Arctic. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we like I said, we plan to do a lot more of that. 
we've been busy with stuff, but I got I got the basis shit of a mission, so yeah. De I definitely want to get South Atlantic at some point and make some missions off of that that basically require to refuel or just you know a mission with uh, to a degree tank restrictions. Give people like one tank. Yeah, this is a big map. In series, a big map. We could, yeah. you could easily, oh yeah, do uh, do something like that where you've got a, I don't know, just like put like a like a bunch of Sams like at, at the edge of one of them on one of the peninsulas, and you have to fly back and yeah, yeah. Currently, me and Big are trying to do a formation landing, but he's in a trolley while I'm in that uh, sh strike version, so. Not sure how that how will that go? Oh, he's in a Charlie. Oh yeah. Yep. <laughs> yeah, because like he, they have different speeds on landing. Yeah, it's a lot lot lighter aircraft. Much lighter, but I'm much lighter in fuel wise. I'm like eight thousand pounds. Hmm. Yeah, he's to my right. Okay. I completely forgot. I I backed out to uh. Change my in-game name. I forgot we did make it though, Arctic. So as of right now, it's you can just grab the board number and just copy paste it into the uh, the DCS name. So it's easy. If there's ever any adjustments, instead of having a search. Are you talking about SRS? No, 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 my bad. I, I just closed that. Um, for the in-game in in DCS itself, mm -hmm. we changed the name format a little bit because right now I had <laughs> like big has what you have, right? No, no, nope. big has it. Big has the way your name is and the way mine was, which is Forty First Savage One Hundred One Big. Uh, we've condensed it a little bit and just got rid of the 41st. Oh, okay. <laughs> just, Let me uh, see what that is. Yeah, just to help people. But to help with that, we have changed the board numbers uh, on the board board number page. The board numbers will always reflect the in-game uh, way it's set up. So okay. you can just grab Savage 111 Arctic and just copy-paste that into the... Uh, into the nickname. So if we ever do change something, because we're, we're, I mean, this is something we do talk about a lot, is like, especially considering like people play Gray Flag and shit, and like there's, mm -hmm. there's a fine line between having everything out there so people can see things and find you versus having to just be different. Okay. <clears throat> and so we're trying to, we're just trying to standardize stuff. And plus, with forty, Absolutely. if you remove forty first, that gives you five additional slots for name. Right, and so, I think like, this format allows uh, that chatbot to call you too if it's working. Yeah, the chatbot. What chatbot? There's uh, on um, um, maybe Growling Sidewander, but definitely on the Hoggets, <laughs> you can uh, go to a frequency and, and voice and say, uh, oh, check in. Yeah, I forgot I've seen that. But it hasn't okay. worked lately. Gotcha. I don't think it's caught up with the versions. Ah. Oh yeah, that's that's it. That that page we're always going to try to keep that updated with uh, everyone's name in proper format. Just keeps it easier rather than having a search. Yep, no problem. I've just changed it to Savage oh, One 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 Arctic. Owl comment. I I was thinking about that and was like looking for it, and then I saw <clears throat> Owl was like, "God damn it! The the OICs that should be an example still haven't changed their names." <laughs> <laughs> Me and Bigger flat around with the old name. I was like, ah, like I guess he did notice. Well, it's funny. I saw that, and it just didn't register because I thought it was just updating the numbers. Yeah. So I looked right at it and didn't catch that it was like, oh, it actually is different. Oh yeah, there was some numbers that were moved around though too. So that was kind of the, I mean, the numbers were the important thing. We're all kind of so very good. Um. Is there going to be another one? Uh, I don't believe so. There is one. So some of, he did add one on Sunday. Uh, if you check the events tab, 
Yeah, there's one Operation Phalanx that he grabbed, which apparently is supposed to have a lot more, a lot more stuff in it. That's Sunday. Uh, unfortunately, I won't be there because I got a birthday party for someone in the family. Oh, it's on Sunday. Okay, yeah. I have no idea. Yeah. What it's, it's. I think it's Friday today, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's Friday. I haven't got a clue. I anyway, like, no, I was I just wondering. Is, is anyone sticking around now that we're done this one? Is there? An, are we going out again? Uh, I don't know. I know we normally try to sit down and see. Oh, well, what didn't? <laughs> see what we could change, depending on what it is. Uh, this, I'm pretty sure he stole this from someone, so it shouldn't be too much of a big deal. But just a quick little breakdown, and uh, I know, like for, for dudes like me, I'm gonna go make food, talk with a gal. She's been gone all day. Okay. I got shit to do, so I'm getting off. But there's there's definitely people that stay. I'm back. Hello. Hello. Uh, okay. Well, we're both wills done. Holy God, shit, I've that was this fun. Thing forever, but... Oh, the Charlie? Uh, the, the, the... Yeah, I love flying this thing, though. The Charlie is like... You know what's is going to be fun? They said they're going to do the Strike Eagle eventually. The ability to remove the CFTs. That'd be cool. So it'll be more like a Charlie Eagle than a Strike Eagle. Ooh. Well, Arctic, for your first run, how'd you like it? I enjoyed it immensely, just only because awesome. it, it wasn't, uh, you know, things spawning all over you like in some yeah. of the servers or somebody crashing I'll, through I'll, and doing I'll be something honest with dumb. You, I threw this together in probably a couple hours. So the one on Sunday, if you're available, that's going to be <laughs> that's going to be a lot. Uh, I mean, that's it's it's, it, it's going to include everything. Cap, cast, air, anti-ship, like it's going to include everything. Yeah, I, I'm not gonna be able to do that. Like, no, if I need to, if I need to postpone that that one, I have more missions we can do. Like I said, uh, on my days off, I usually just hop on here and just do mission editors all day. Yeah. So, um, if if I gotta wait for that one, I can wait because that one I'm gonna we're gonna need a as many people. Yeah, because I won't yeah. be there. I got a, a family like to family birthday, birthday party fine. thing to deal well, with. Then so. I'll I'll come up with another one for us to do, and then uh, I'll save that one for because, like I said, that <laughs> yeah. one's gonna have. A10s, Apaches, it's going to have all... all. Yeah, air well, range. that's going to be definitely the next one I do, too, is going to have a lot more uh, close air support. It's going to be my focus on and getting troops kind of figured out a little better as well. It, that was but, a lot of fun. Uh, this, uh, this, this one that I have up, coming up on that we're going to do either on Sunday or an, uh, another time, it's... Uh... Do you got attack view for this one or no? Uh, oh, wait, I... Because so. I'm a little curious where my... Uh, my first run oh, went on the helicopter. I have tech view, but uh, it's client only, so only shows it my plane. It didn't seem like the CBUs were damaging the. Yeah, so, so I object. I hate using CBU two or two o twos, no one o twos, and eighty uh, sevens. They they just seem buggy with the way they do damage, especially to targets. Yeah. Like anything more than a BMP, they don't. They just don't do damage to, and right. it just was really weird. I mean, ninety sevens just do so much more damage to everything. Uh, same with the one hundred fives. I almost uh, brought it up, but I was like, you know what? Let's try it out because I think we had good effects on the oh, yeah, Mig twenty nine. I watched y'all drop them. It just yeah. didn't register. Yeah, because I was I like, there's no way those two. helis didn't get fucked up from my first drop. But, I mean, the 202s are pretty much just designed for infantry, so... Yeah, no, yep, yeah. 202s and 87s are just... Plus, I'm um, add uh, something, DCS damage modeling is kind of yeah. soundless to shit. Oh, yeah. Like, yeah it's uh, kind of for example, there's two 2,000-pounders I dropped on the four Scud launchers. Real life, they would have fucking killed everything there. Those, it's 2,000 pounds. Oh, yeah. Um, that's one of the reasons why I like to use the splash damage script. I do recommend it to everybody, just because it makes stuff feel more yeah, realistic. Uh, I, I'm, I'm a, oh yeah, no, that's I'm it. It was good. Uh, my I'll, I'll, AR I'm gonna was... share the deck view if you guys want to see it. Oh, sweet. Sure. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, sure. you're gonna, you guys are going to see me lagging out of the air-to-ground radar. You're going to see me literally pull... Maybe seven G's to go after a MiG twenty one that was below me, and then oh, just, just, just black out, rip your wings, crash. 
<laughs> oh, I didn't. I didn't even oh. my wings. I just my freaking dude just blacked out for pulling seven G's. Uh, I'm weak. gonna throw twelve pictures in media. Yeah, feel free. Throw them all. Well, well I don't want to see ton of pictures being big. I'm not. Uh, so I freaking. So let me preface this by saying none of these are in-game screenshots. They are all on my phone. Just no, you could both. I don't worry. Because uh, uh, for some reason, it just won't let me take screenshots on the game. I don't know why. Oh, I had a buggy thing with that too, so I think I got to figure it out. Might, like, might be able to help you. Default's F12, but F12 resets my head, head tracker. So I don't know uh, if there's... F12 resets your head tracker? Huh. Yeah, that's like that was factory with my tracking, and I just got used to it. The hell happens with... Huh? Huh? Yeah, I had to go. So, Windows print screen should also do it. God. Fucking great. Oh, fucking good job. That was good. That was a lot of fun. I fucking took got out there and couldn't launch my, my fucking arms. That's why I was so glad that I had fucking Al with me. And I was like, dude, just go ahead and fucking engage that shit. Because yeah. it's already fitting at me and I can't, I can't figure it out right this second. Yeah. So uh, something else that was weird. None of our our data links didn't work in the Vipers. Uh, I don't know if this was just like on a different. <laughs> we we just couldn't get either of our data link to work, so we we're just going off of oh, radar no. signatures. Data uh, well, I mean, didn't work for it, me and Al either. Yeah, it, uh, it's based off in the early nineties. So. Oh yeah. I mean, oh. oh, of course. That makes sense. Yeah, data link doesn't work. Okay. Yeah, even then, but, like, at yeah. certain points, so my data, data, link, data link. I had it set up to a data link only work if you had a data link pod. Gotcha. But, but yeah, because yeah. <laughs> there was one point we were just like watching the Eagles, and then big we watched your aircraft, and then I watched the MiG twenty one come up from Angels fifteen, and just fly past you. I saw you do a big loop, and then I saw you and it just fall off a contact. And then a 21 just, like, pop up right behind the Eagles. I was like, huh, Dude, interesting. I, <laughs> I experienced the most A Tomcat moment because I, I went to flip over to go after that MiG and immediately compressor stalled. <laughs> so, <laughs> my, my fucking thing's yelling at me because I'm like, did I just get hit by a missile? But I'm like, no way. I'm, I'm looking like, at my gauges. Make 20 order with like, an R73. And then next you know, my dude just goes, and black out. And I'm like, wait a minute. I pulled 7 Gs. Oh, wait. This is this is set to client side only. Oh, god damn it. That's all good. So, yeah. That was fun. So probably some kind of setting on the, on the server that we need to address. Yeah. I'll figure it out. No, um, I think it went well. So, like, everything went I can only see this, myself. Uh, this right next here. big event that I have coming up, I'll 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 rotate this one out. We could so we have enough people for that. This one uh, we'll do something else on Sunday, but uh, this one is going to take as many people as we can fucking get. Um, it's yeah, because if we need rotors, I will Apache that shit up. Yeah, so it's a one hundred percent airfield defense. So we are going to be dealing with oh, got it, Iranian. Russian aircraft of all types, uh, ground pounders, bombers, fighters, as well as while trying to maintain and hold back them, as well as fighting ground forces that are pushing. Gotcha. So basically, so need to. Well, if like, not, I'm, hey, big, I could send you the. If we really want to challenge stuff and take some coordination, uh, if we got enough like cast guys too, uh, I can send you a link to the. Uh, Actually, no, you can just grab it. Uh, you can go download the Apache Hunting Ground server and oh, make yeah, modifications yeah. to it. Because um, obviously that's a super interactive one that still takes coordination, um, especially if dudes are doing close air support. <clears throat> but yeah. I agree. That's always a good one to, to just... That one's for... Literally, if you just Google Apache Hunting Grounds, that server pops up. Like they just they just give it away. It's wonderful. Uh, I did I when I went in and added FCRs to the Apaches because you do have to do that. But the most recent one didn't have that, uh, so maybe you don't even have to. But obviously that's always a fun one because uh, you know you can't see nobody on the fucking map. So <laughs> uh, <yeah. laughs> 
it is a hundred percent getting distance and direction from the battle position and plotting that shit and in estimation. I'll just say this. I'm so glad I defended when I did from the SA two. Oh yeah. Bro, that's why that's why I love SA twos is because people underestimate them because they're older, but they are so fucking dangerous. Oh yeah. Dude, uh you know what when they, you know what time right play? It it's more so dangerous than the SA two. Yeah, it's better. Yeah. They're, they're Unfortunately, crazy. gents, uh like I said, think the mission went well because I got I got a dip soon. So mission went well. Um obviously taking away some of the shit, whether it's AWAX, whether it was the tanker, whether that was on purpose or not, <clears throat> works out. Makes everyone think of their feet a little bit. It's good. Solid. Um, that's yeah. That was the only. That's thing definitely I was type looking of... forward to tanking with all these all these flight members. Yeah. Oh, we'll yeah, get don't, don't don't worry. It will. Yeah. No, leave. I get it. I've got a mission coming up where. Even with ready. that though, I think it, it's interesting. Uh, if pretty much for our missions, if we just take off, you know, you can see yourself on the mini map, and that's it. Okay. I'll just. Do that. Because it, it fucks with people. I like More fucking with people. Blue's like, hey man, don't do that shit again. <laughs> but no, especially when, especially in shit set in the '90s where we don't have data link, it's it just requires people to fucking think about yeah, shit a little yeah. more and like IFF and yeah. communicate. Yeah. Yeah. And re especially even after after a strike, you have to reestablish contact. Obviously, with the Viper, we're able to set up uh, tack in with each other and get distance direction. But if you don't have that, then you got to walk each other on and use the uh, reference points and shit. And it's just it's just something different. Uh, that's one of the reasons why I think uh, that link was invented. Uh, anyways, I'm going to hop out, guys. It was fun. Yep. Nope. Boy. Likewise. Later. I appreciate I it, gents. Some pictures, by the way. We will look it up. Obviously, thank you, everyone, who's able to join. It's always fun. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Arctic? Okay. Love you, brother. <laughs> Good flight. Thanks, thanks for yeah, thanks we'll see you around. I mean, so we we always try to keep this stuff up uh, with a couple days of advance at least uh, for the events like this, and uh, we're we're trying to do more. So should should yeah, be at least like one a week to a degree. I usually make a lot of missions, but my PC shit out on me. So I, but now that I have my new PC, I'm I'm yeah. up and running now. So I'm I'm good to go. So I'll be making a lot more. <laughs> and we'll do uh, a lot more stuff like this. Uh, we're also going to start ramping up back our. Um, Liberations. Oh yeah. Liberations and our uh but hold types up. But... Again. Okay. Is... Have a good one, gents. Always fun. Later on. Deuces. Buddy. Yeah.